Good day grade 10s. In this lesson we're learning about theoretical yield. What is theoretical yield? When we are given a known mass of a reactant and are asked to work out how much product is formed, we are working out the theoretical yield of the reaction. In other words, we're working out how much product we expect to get out. In real life, some of the product is lost. And when I say lost, if you notice I put it in inverted commas, the reason is that we know that nothing is ever lost or gained in a reaction because mass is always conserved, the number of atoms is always conserved, but the product that we want might not all have formed because maybe not all the reactants reacted completely or some other unwanted product formed because we did the reaction incorrectly or maybe some of the reactants weren't pure. So one of the ways that we can work out if we're doing this reaction well is we can calculate the percentage yield. We can calculate the percentage yield. So the percentage yield is actual yield divided by theoretical yield. Actual yield divided by theoretical yield. So let's look at an example. Sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, reacts with ammonia to form ammonium sulfate. They give us that. They give us all the formula, so life is good. Okay, it says, what is the theoretical yield of ammonium sulfate that can be obtained from 2 grams of sulfuric acid? So they want to know how much of ammonium sulfate will we get if we have 2 grams, 2 kilograms of sulfuric acid. Okay, great. Then they said they found that 2.2 kilograms of ammonium sulfate was formed. Okay, so they want, they want to know in the first question, what do we expect to make? The second question they say, but we didn't get what we expect, maybe we made 2.2. What is our percentage yield? What is our percentage yield? So let's look at that. Step one, we need to write a balanced equation. So we write H2SO4 plus ammonia gives you ammonium sulfate. You'll notice I put a 2 here to balance. Let's see if that works. Do you see that this nitrogen times by 2 gives me 2 nitrogen? So if I put a 2 in front of this, it gives me 2 nitrogens. And happily that 2 also fixes the hydrogens. Because on the right hand side we've got 4 times 2, we've got 8 hydrogens, right? On the left hand side we've got 2 times 3, 6 plus 2, which is also 8 hydrogens. Whenever you get an example like this, you have to work out the balance equations. The first thing you do is write out the equation and you balance it. Next, we need to now look at the number of moles of the given substance. We never work with mass, we only work with moles. So the number of moles is always the mass over the molar mass. Please note we've taken this 2 kilograms and changed it to grams, so it's 2,000 grams. And this is of sulfuric acid. So that there is the molar mass of your two hydrogens plus your sulfur plus your four oxygens, which is 2 times 2 plus your 32 plus 4 times 16, which gives you 98.12. So the number of moles of sulfuric acid is 20.38, 20.38. Now we have to look at the mole ratio. So we've got to go back to our balanced equation. Now we're only at the moment looking at our sulfuric acid and our ammonium sulfate. Remember this is not a maths equation, this is a chemical equation. So we're saying therefore that we've got one mole of sulfuric acid is going to give me one mole of ammonium to sulf ammonium sulfate. So the ratio is one to one. Therefore, if we were given 20.38 moles of our sulf sulfuric acid, we have to make 20.38 moles of ammonium sulfate. Okay, great. Now we need to know how much that is in mass. So what we do then is we calculate the mass. So we know that it's 20.38 moles. Number of moles is mass of a molar mass. So mass is number of moles times the molar mass, which is 20.38 times the molar mass of this, which if you work on the periodic table, you work out to be 114 grams per mole, which works out to be 2,324.48 grams. 2,324.48 grams. Okay, it's a lot of grams. Therefore, the maximum amount of ammonium we can actually produce is 
I mean 2324.48 grams or 2.32 kilograms. Right. Now let's look at question two. Question two says we didn't get that full 2320 odd grams. We only got 2.2 kilograms. And they want to know what is the percentage yield. But remember the maximum amount we got was 2324.48 grams. So we can use a calculation which is actual over theoretical which is 2.2 over 2.324 which gives you 94.64 percent which is awesome that is a fantastic percentage for a chemical reaction so that is very good and it means that your reaction has worked very well right that is all please make sure that you know how to do theoretical yield and have a lovely day grade 10s